Okay, we have filmed something like this before. We, we did a video on how to make your own squirrel dubbing. But an exciting new advancement in squirrel technology has given us dyed full squirrel pelts. These things are awesome. So I'm going to make some leech dubbing. You see this awesome stuff right here. It's a squirrel dub with some flash mixed in. And so I'll show you how to do that. First things first, find red squirrels in the wilderness. Um, they're all over in Utah because yeah, the University of Utah they're usually drunk so we shoot them when they're drunk anyway also my beard trimmer died and what I've realized is you want a, a hair trimmer with wide teeth beard trimmers typically have more narrow teeth than this so I just went to the old Walmarts I just got done giving Curtis a haircut high and tight like a state trooper and so we'll use this on the squirrel so We'll just dive in. This is the first time I've ever used this one on a squirrel, so it might be an epic fail. So, we'll come in here. So, I don't need a ton right now. I'm just going to kind of give you guys an idea. So, one thing to keep in mind as you're blending up this squirrel is it's going to be darker than it looks on the outside. You can see underneath there it's got some really dark uh, kind of under fur. So we're going to put that into a coffee grinder. And for this one I use pearl ice dub. And I'm going to get about that much. I'm going to use claret ice dub. About that much. And red ice stub. So once I have the ice stub, I'm just going to kind of layer it on top of itself. And if I have too much flash here for this much squirrel, I can just add more squirrel and vice versa. But this is key. You got to trim it about three eighths to a half inch, inch, or else when you put it in your dubbing loop it's not going to you know spin up well with the squirrel and also when you blend this in the coffee grinder it's going to get all twisted up all right so i don't know why but they put like an 18 inch hole or cord on this so i'm going to have to take this one unplug it oh. plug this guy in Curtis, your room is terrible. So just pulse it. Some people ask, well, doesn't that chop the stuff up? It actually doesn't cut anything. Um, all it does is it blends it up. And that's a good mix right there. So you can see we've got a really cool lychee blend of squirrel dub. This color is called leech red. And you can see that it kind of gets blood red as opposed to the bright red that that the squirrel actually looks like okay so this is a super easy fly and uh, I've been kind of still water crazy we did a lot of still water fishing last year so I'm filling my boxes right now and uh, this is a, a size 12 so this is a really small leech designed to be a kind of a micro pattern which work really well I have a size 12 633 and a three millimeter true blood fire hole stone matte colored bead it's a super cool color so I'm just gonna dress my hook with wine colored a dot uni thread to material fly material one the famed spay hackle with chickaboo Last time we used this was on the baby fat minnow and it was money. So I'm just going to get one of these bushy feathers near the top. And as you can see, it, it, it moves quite a bit. Um, we don't want a super uh, bushy tail on this little leech. So I'm going to moisten my fingers and just kind of taper that down a little bit. I'll actually take this back up by the bead because I want to tie it in up here so that I can hold on to it as I wrap it back. 
So that's about how I lo how long I want that tail on the leech. It's a little bit longer tail because this is a short, like we're a normal shanked hook. All right. So the next part's super easy. I'm just going to make a double thread dubbing loop just like this and close off the back of it by wrapping my thread around the back of it and then take that up. I'm using the gator grip shepherd's loop tool and then I'm going to take the dubbing that I just made and if you just cut off the corner of the bag when you pull that dubbing out of the bag it should be all kind of facing exactly how I want it to put it in that loop. Alright, so there's my dubbing loop all built up nice. As you can see the fibers are all pretty short because they're squirrel. Uh, some people have asked, well why don't you just use like a magic tool and put the squirrel in a clip and uh, put it in a dubbing loop that way. And in my opinion it, it leaves the squirrel a little bit longer than what I want. So. You can see that's a really nice looking squirrel brush and that's what we're going to wrap the body with. So I'm going to come in here and pick at it just a little bit with some velcro and then I'm going to take this and wrap it rotary style up the body and that loop was about three times bigger than I needed it. So if I come in here with open scissors and just push the scissors into the loop, it will cut the thread and not the fibers. We'll whip finish it and now we'll just kind of brush those fibers out. This is a super durable fly as well. Uh, we use two strands of thread in there, so no fish is going to be able to tear that up. Anyway, there you have it. The squirrel leech.